What the fuck is up, everyone? Thanks for watching. Today is a kind of special edition of Vinyl Thoughts. Special because I thought that instead of talking about records that I own, it might be important to start talking a little bit about my philosophy when it comes to record collecting. And so today, I'm going to talk about a very important piece of that philosophy, and that has to do with the comparison and difference, in my opinion, on original versions and reissues. So when I say original version, I don't necessarily mean first pressing. I usually mean it came out around the same time, so it's a very similar pressing of the album as it originally was released. And then repressings can range from anything, from just the same exact thing put out 20 years later, or it could be remastered, which we'll get to, or, you know, remixed, unfortunately, sometimes. So, really, when I collect records, because the things that I love to listen to are usually from the 80s, sometimes 70s, I, I, I really like to get the album as it came out. And that's because I'm not just a fan of the music. I'm a fan of the album and the track order on the album and the people that played on the album and the producer of the album and what was going on in music at the time when the album was released. And so I like hearing it as it was put out. It's really interesting to me. I usually enjoy that way more than hearing some sort of repressing. And so most of the time I try my best to look for an original pressing of an album. Sometimes it gets a little bit pricey and that's when you'll see me kind of try to find the best repressing that I can find. I did this with Nirvana, never mind. I can't fucking afford a 1991 pressing of that album. So I just went ahead and found one. I believe it came out in 2001 and it wasn't remastered. It was a really good pressing and I was like, okay, I'm fine with this because I love that album. I wanted it on vinyl. I ended up finding one. But for the most part, I like to stick to original pressings. And so that brings us to the conversation about remasters. Now, remastering, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to break it down as fucking simple as it gets. Remastering is just taking an old recording and turning everything up and making it all even. So you're taking the recording and you're sort of bringing it up to date to make it louder, make the sounds more clearer if necessary. It, it, it Sometimes a record benefits from that, but more often than not, it doesn't. And not only that, more often than not, the remaster sounds like shit. I don't know what they're doing, but they're just boosting everything and compressing everything. And I realize that younger music buyers may go listen to these albums and like them more because they sound a little more modern. That's fine. If that's your thing, go with it. I I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to listen to your music because I don't want you to tell me how to listen to my music. And really, with vinyl, you're not shuffling songs. So one song's not playing right next to some newer song that has a really loud volume. So for vinyl, I just leave it as it is. And not only that, if there are imperfections in an album, I that's the version that I've heard. That's the version that I've grown with, and that's the version that I love most of the time. So an imperfection to somebody else is a perfection to me, because I love how that album sounds. And so the remastering thing just isn't for me. I usually don't like how it sounds. There are rare exceptions, but most of the time, I steer clear of that. So. Let's move on to my opinion on repressings. Now, in theory, I don't have any problem with a repressing. If I can't get the original and they've faithfully reproduced it now, I'm okay with getting that if I have to, just if I really want the album. But for the most part, and I talked about this on the podcast I did on vinyl a few weeks back, it seems like modern records have so many issues with the pressing. It's either a hole is drilled off centered or somehow when it was being stored, it got warped. But it just seems like I've bought so many records that were made in the 70s and the 80s and very few of them have issues that bother me. Whereas records made today, it seems like it's 50-50. So I also want to avoid repressings if at all possible. But then again, that's just me. And also, I don't have a shitload of money. So sometimes I don't have any choice. If it's an album that I really, really want, 
and I can't get the original, I'm going to get a repressing, I guess. Anyway, so I hope that was interesting to some of you. I may come back on another one of these and maybe I'll talk about my setup that I use to play vinyl. It's pretty simple and it's perfect for an apartment. Um, and maybe some other things might pop up in relation to me as a vinyl collector. Um, and if you have any questions or things you want me to talk about, just put them down below in the comments. And please make sure that you subscribe and like and all of those things on this channel. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye.